Hey guys, it's Jeff from Pressure Luck, and I gotta tell you, I'm snowed into my house. Like, completely snowed in. I was not expecting there to be three plus feet of snow, and I'm not kidding, I'm not exaggerating. It's insane how much snow fell, and I've shoveled, and then I've stopped, and then I've shoveled. I am so sore right now. I feel like one of those people in the opening scene of Les Miserables, like, oh, oh, look down. You know, like one of those people, and it's never gonna stop. That being said, Banjo, I know, I know he's excited. Let me let Daddy do the intro, all right? You wanna be in the intro with me? Well, there he is. Say hi to everybody. Mm, yeah, is he gonna say hi? Yes, he is. It's Enhanced Banjo, the Norwich Terrier from Queens, New York. So that being said, I totally didn't prepare. I don't think anyone realized how much snow we'd be getting. I think they said it's a few inches. <laughs> okay, all right. I think they meant a few feet, but I totally didn't stock up on the necessary ingredients for making a simple breakfast. However, I remember the time I was on Rachel Ray back in September of 2019, and I made cloud eggs. Now, that's not my personal recipe. Like, I didn't come up with the idea, but I did my own spin on it for sure. I don't know who created it. Whoever did it's a brilliant idea. And what are cloud eggs? Well, first off, you can make them just simply using eggs, literally just a little bit of Parmesan or some Pecorino Romano cheese, some salt and white pepper, and that's all you need to make these things. They're so easy. But first, what is a cloud egg? Well, picture a sunny side up egg, but instead of just the egg whites around there, like the flat type, picture it being super fluffy and full of cheese, like puffy cheese. Uh, and that's what a cloud egg is. Uh, it's amazing, it's gonna impress anyone you serve it to. It's really very simple to make, and it just involves the oven. It's six minutes total of t baking time. It's super easy, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So let's go on to cloud nine and up our egg game, because cloud eggs, it is. You excited, Banj? You excited for cloud eggs, yeah? Yes, he is, he's excited. Let's get going. So first, let's preheat our oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. So the key ingredients to making cloud eggs are, well, you guessed it, eggs. I want to take four either large or extra large eggs, and the reason why I have them in its own little ramekin or bowl here isn't just for pretty presentation for the video, but because we're going to want to separate our egg whites from the yolks, we want each yolk to be individualized for the time being. That's how we get it to look all beautiful at the end, like a little sunny egg yolk floating in a cloud of the egg whites. So just take four of the eggs and separate them into little bowls or ramekins for the time being. Then take a mixing bowl that's about this big so you have some room in there. And then take an egg separator. Grab one of the eggs, crack the egg, put it into the egg separator, and then just kind of move it around so the egg white drops into the bowl and we're just left with the yolk. And then I'm gonna add that to its own little ramekin like I did before, all right? All the egg whites, though, get combined into the same bowl. We don't wanna separate those. So just repeat the process. And by the way, if you don't have an egg separator, which I strongly suggest having, they're super convenient. You can get them anywhere online, basically, or really any home store. You can just separate them manually, it's fine too. But this pretty much always guarantees a perfect clean egg yolk to egg white separation while keeping that egg yolk intact. Like a little ball of sunshine, as Blanche Devereaux would say. Okay, so here are all four of my egg whites, which I've cracked and separated into one large mixing bowl, along with my remaining four egg yolks, which are all completely separated. Perfect. And really, this is the most time-intensive part of the recipe, and it's not that hard. All right, let's move on. Okay, so now I'm focusing on just my bowl with the egg whites in there, and I want to take about a pinch of some salt, along with a quarter of a teaspoon of white pepper, and now comes the fun part, we're gonna mix. Take a hand mixer, this is the easiest way, and then to start in a low speed, and then we're going to blend this up until it becomes stiff peaks. Start at a lower speed, and then we're gonna work our way up to a high speed. All right, and after about two minutes or so of doing that, you're gonna see some nice peaks being stiffed, or nice, Stiff peaks. Regardless, it's gonna look kind of like whipped cream at this point. That's what you want. All right, now we have to do some cheese work. I've mixed together a quarter of a cup each of Parmesan and Pecorino Romano cheeses, but if you only have one or the other, you can use, use a half a cup total. So regardless, it's a half a cup of grated cheese here, and I'm going to add that in, and then I'm going to, you guessed it, fold in the cheese. And we just do that by kind of just like mixing it around until it gently gets folded in. And a fold is basically like scooping it around and then just, you know, basically folding it over onto itself. Just do it gently. Don't do it too aggressively because we just beat all those liquidy egg whites into what you see here. And that's looking great. All right, moving on. 
I have a baking sheet and I'm gonna add some parchment paper to it. You definitely have to use parchment paper and every kitchen should have this, honestly. To me, it's so much easier than foil and less messy and things peel right off, nothing really sticks to it. Now I'm gonna take a spoon into my bowl and I'm going to evenly distribute four, because we have four eggs, four mounds of clouds. And after you've done that, you wanna leave a little bit of space between them, take the back of your spoon and then just put a little bit of an indent into each one here because that's where we're gonna put our egg yolks afterwards. Not just yet though, there's two steps of baking here. And there we go. And now I'm gonna pop this into my preheated 450 degree oven for three minutes. This is part one. All right, now it's time to take my fluffy yolks out. Okay, and there are my half-baked cloud eggs. And now I wanna quickly add my egg yolks just to the center of each one. And now I wanna bake these for another three minutes. All right, now it's time to take my completed cloud eggs out. We're done. And another three minutes have passed, and there they are, guys, my cloud eggs. Well, one of them uh, had a little bit of a, a, a leaky dream there on that cloud. I mean. Look at how fluffy it is, of course, why not? So don't be discouraged if that happens, we're only human, but for the time being, I'm gonna serve these up. A spatula here, and you're gonna see how easily they come right off the parchment paper, just like so. Easy peasy, put it on a plate. And look, I gave it a little bit of a, a face, if you will. Two eyes, a nose, or, uh, never mind. So let's try these out. And there's my cloud egg, looking like a fluffy, ball of sunshine on top of a lovely cloud egg. And you know what? First off, look at how the yolk already just melts into everything. I love that. If I wanted to, by the way, I can totally eat this just like this with my hands. Like, if I wanted to. Sometimes I've been known at the restaurant when there's a little bit of soup left to pick up the bowl and just drink it out. Don't judge me. Or judge me. Don't really care. Try this out. Okay, it tastes like a cheese it To me, this tastes like a cheese it like, you know those um, fantastic little square cheesy crackers? Tastes like that, but chewy, like an egg, because the cheese mixed with the egg whites. And then when you have the egg yolk, look at that, mm, running down it. To die for. Look at this. If you like your eggs like an over easy type thing like this, you're gonna be in heaven as that egg yolk cascades down the cloud portion. It's almost like it's about to thunderstorm egg yolks. And I'd be okay with that. It might get sticky, but it can't be any worse than the show I've been shoveling the last three days. Three feet of snow, enough of those shenanigans. Give me the, the raining egg yolks. It's delicious. Got some bacon or sausage, or turkey bacon or turkey sausage, or like vegan like meat that you wanna dip in around this. Go for it, it's gonna be amazing. Ham, so good. It's delicious. This is one of those things you're gonna make for your kids, or you're gonna make for some friends when you have some brunch or your family, whatever, and they're gonna be so impressed by them, but they're so easy to make on top of it. They're not hard at all. It's just simply just whisking together some egg whites until they become like basically a stiff peak. And then you mix in a few other ingredients, then you throw it into the oven, bake it again, and you're done. Guys, if you enjoy this excellent recipe, check out more of my recipes at PressureLawCooking.com. I don't just do pressure cooking, but I'll tell you this much, I do have a cookbook, actually two cookbooks. The first one, the orange cover, the step-by-step -step instant pot cookbook, is available anywhere books are sold. It's an international bestseller, and it's been on so many bestseller lists that it's hard for me to keep track. I don't mean to sound pompous, I really don't. It's just the truth, it has been. What do you want from me? It's a really great book with over 750 color photos with step-by-step -step photos, color for each and every recipe with a final shot of which every single one should look like. If you don't have an Instant Pot, check one out for sure. But you don't have to cook in an Instant Pot for things to be delicious and easy, just like cloud eggs. Check out facebook.com slash pressurelockcooking and like that page anytime a new recipe drops, tips on item, deals, humor, and of course at pressurelockcooking on Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Subscribe to me there. Thanks so much again, guys. And just remember, the next time you're thinking about doing something with eggs, and if you want a little bit of a cloud nine experience, Experience that's a little bit cheesy and just unlike anything else, check out some cloud eggs. Enjoy.